Hi, this is Denise with Wizard Woodworks, and today I'd like to show you how to play the game Marbles and Jokers. In this configuration, I have it set up for four players, but the game will go up to eight players. And in this uh, example, we're using three decks of cards. If you do have eight players, you'd want to add a fourth deck of cards. The game comes with complete instructions, so don't worry if you've never played it before. It's very easy to follow, and each one of the card values is laid out on the instruction sheet. So even a beginner could follow along and get the hang of the game very quickly. The game starts with every player being dealt five cards. In this example, we have the cards showing face up, but you would not uh, show those during the regular game. You would hold those in your hand. Um, the game is played with all five marbles starting out in the start. And the object of the game is to go around the board and get them into your home or castle, as some people refer to. Uh, the card values control the move of the game. It's not played with dice where you would just roll and, and have to move whatever you roll. There's no chance or luck here. It's all strategy. So just to show you a brief example of the game, um, you have to bring a man out of start. To do that, you have to have a face value card, jack, queen, king, or an ace. So in this example, green has a queen, they could bring a man out, they pick another card, and it goes to the next player. It's going to go around the board. The next player has an ace, an ace can bring a man out, and they pick another card. Red does not have a face value card or an ace, so they would just get rid of one of their cards and pick a new card. Okay, they did get a king, so on their next turn they could bring a player out. And this is how it goes around the board. So yellow has a king, and they can bring a man out. So that's all fairly basic. Um, the strategy comes in with the different cards that move uh, various ways. Some move forward, some move backwards, and some can be split in two moves with just one card. So I'm just going to play out of sequence here and just give you a little bit of example of that. Um, a nine is just a nine. It can be moved forward nine spaces, or a nine can be split between uh, your man moving forward and backwards. So an example might be uh, if you have a man already out and one right here, that nine could be used backwards eight spaces and forward one. Uh, that would be a good move because then the next time on Green's turn, instead of going all the way around, it would just have to go here. Um, that would be an example of a 9. Uh, an example of an 8 is uh, the 8 always moves backwards. So in this case, if Green had a man out and they played an 8, they would just move back 8 spaces. Again, they wouldn't have to go all the way around. They're right there. Um, a 7 can be moved forwards seven spaces, or it can be moved with a combination of uh, uh, forward with both marbles. So in this example, seven could be moved as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep in mind, you can never jump over your own player, so you want to uh, keep moving these forward all the way in so that towards the end of the game, you're not, you know, forced to go around again because your marble's in the way. So, um, let's see, six, five, four, and three, those are just face value cards moving forward, that amount of spaces. The two will switch play places with um, two players that are out on the board. So, for example, uh, blue could switch with green. And the advantage there is that blue wouldn't have to go all the way around. They're just this far from their home, and they can move in that way. And then a joker uh, can take one player from their start and switch it uh, with any other player that's already out on the board, and it sends that player back to their start. So um, that's the fun part about a joker. And that's kind of the strategy, is that uh, as you get better, as you play it a few times, you'll realize that you are in control of your moves with your cards. So you kind of think two, three moves ahead and get all your men into home. And the first person that does that wins the game. 
So there you have it. Uh, game rules may vary with players that have played before with different uh, parts of the states. So just go over the rules before you play. Make sure everyone agrees to the rules and have fun. We hope you enjoy playing marbles and jokers. Thanks so much.